What's up guys, Brandon here and I'm back with another action figure review. Today we're taking a look at the Marvel Legends Netflix Wave. I am super, super stoked to have found these figures. Um, and they deserve their own justice. So I'm going to take a look at them individually, one by one. Um, the first figure that I'm going to take a look at for this video in particular is going to be the man without fear himself, Daredevil. Taking a quick look at the packaging, we have the Marvel Daredevil Netflix logo at the bottom, the original Daredevil logo at the top, some amazing artwork on Daredevil side package, uh, same thing on the other side of the package. On the back we get a brief bio of Daredevil with a stellar picture, and these are some of the other figures in the wave. Alright, let's take a closer look at this figure and get him out of the package. Okay guys, so now that we have this figure out of the packaging, let's take a closer look. First, the detail work on this Daredevil. Um, the sculpting is fantastic. Let's take a closer look here, see if my camera can, there we go. Uh, you can even see the fine detail in the sculpting, the grit on the suit. It's all there. Let's see if we can get a close up on the face. There you go. The face is so detailed, you can even see his 5 o'clock shadow. It is absolutely phenomenal. Um, definitely a really good likeness to Charlie Cox, you know, from the chin. Um, just a remarkable looking figure. Um, there was a lot of hype centered around this Netflix wave. Obviously, I'm excited to get it. Um, but I'm not going to be blinded by the fact that there may be something wrong about these figures or that they're lacking in some way, shape, or form. In other words, just because it's Daredevil doesn't mean he's going to be badass all the time. Um, so I'm going to give you an honest review of this figure. Taking a look at the articulation, we've got movement in the neck, side to side, um, up and down on a ball joint. Uh, we have movement at the shoulder. Let's see. Huh? He's having a tough time there on this arm. Let's see this arm. Okay, so I've got one arm um, where he can do that. It looks like I've got a mess with the shoulder piece here. I won't do that now. Um, but on this shoulder, we come up about that far. Come down, forward and back. Um, we have movement at the bicep, there's a cut. Um, we have a double jointed elbow, which is fantastic, especially for posing. Um, movement at the wrist, um, and we have a inward bent and an outward bent at the wrist. Um, we also get an ab crunch, comes down about that much, comes back about that much. Um, we have movement in the waist, which is fantastic. Uh, movement in the hip, back that far, forward that far, comes out about that far. Um, we also have a cut at the hip. We have double jointed knees, and we have movement in the ankle, up, down, and the rocker pivot, which is phenomenal for posing. Very, very happy. So overall, pretty good articulation, pretty good paint applications. Um, just a stiff uh, joint there that I'm gonna try and fix later on. Taking a look at accessories, we have um, Man-Thing, the face of Man-Thing. Um, pretty ugly, pretty interesting. Um, and then we also have interchangeable hands, uh, which is great, we've got fists as opposed to um, the open hands. Uh, and we also get a pair of nunchucks or his sticks. Um, and the cool part about this, they actually combine. Just like that. Very, very cool. Let me see if the camera lighting can fix that. There you go, so you can take a look. Basic red, basic silver, looks pretty good. Alright, and now, 
do the alternate hands fit? Do they work? That popped out pretty easy. And that popped in very easy. So no problems there. Um, and if we take a look at the side of Daredevil, he does have a holster uh, for his sticks. So first let's see, does he hold it well? His hand looks like it's closed a bit much. Works pretty well. I was surprised. Uh, works very well. And then let's see, do they fit in the holster well? It's a little tight um, to push down, but it does work very, very well. So definitely looks like a good first start um, to the Netflix wave for me. Um, the only thing that I see besides the shoulder here, um, the arms on my Daredevil are a little bit warped. Um, they want to stick out just a little bit more than they should. Um, so maybe that's something that I can fix as well later on. But so far this Daredevil figure looks pretty darn good. Comparing our Netflix Daredevil with some of his previous counterparts, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, it looks like they're all exactly the same height and in scale. Uh, so pretty great if you're going for the history of Daredevil. Um, he's definitely one that you want to add to your collection. Comparing Daredevil to some of our MCU figures, it looks like he is definitely in scale, being taller than Spider-Man. Um, and just a little bit taller than Black Widow. So he will work great with your MCU figures. And finally, comparing Daredevil to some regular sized Marvel Legends, um, he is still definitely in scale. He'll work with any of your Legends that you have, comic book or movie. Uh, great figure to have. Um, and is absolutely in perfect scale. All in all, Daredevil is absolutely an amazing figure. Um, I can't recommend him enough. The paint applications, the likeness to Charlie Cox, um, the size comparison, how he levels with all the other figures, uh, and just just the overall appearance of the figure. If you're going to go with any figure from the Netflix line, I definitely think Daredevil is a good place to start. So... Keep that in mind. Keep hunting on the shelves. I'm sure he's there. He'll show up if you haven't found him yet. Um, check your local Walmart. Um, I found him at a Walmart. They're about 20 bucks a piece. Um, and for 20 bucks, this is absolutely an amazing figure. All right, guys. Thanks a ton for watching. Once again, this is Brandon. Thank you so much for all the likes, comments, subscriptions. YouTube, you guys are the best. And I wouldn't be doing this without you. Stay tuned for more. Thanks.